welcome everyone to another episode of the Intellectual Saviors of Wrestling with your hosts, the Master of the Brain Damage, Martin, and the one and only Sam H. And this is the Smackdown Live Review from the 31st of January. Their fallout from the Royal Rumble. Yeah. And we opened it up with the new WWE Champion. Oh, I really didn't want to open up with this guy. <laughs> But he wasn't on his own for very long. No, thankfully. He was confronted by... Well, can you even really call him a family when there's only two people? Well, that's, that's what they're going with. The, the Wyatt family. The, the Wyatt duo. <laughs> Consisting of Bray and Randy. Yeah, it was, apparently Luke Harper's been kicked out. It's never really been said by Bray or anyone else. Yeah, and no, and uh, funny enough, you mentioned Luke Harper, and he then appeared at some point, and uh, it was then made the match for later on in the night. Tag team action between Randy and Bray versus John Cena and Luke Harper. <laughs> yeah, in fact, actually, that match was next. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Damn it, they're, they're at it again. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Yeah, they were going to do the whole uh, two man beat down on Cena, but then randomly Luke Harper ran out. Yeah, we don't know why. No, still trying to work that one out. <laughs> yeah. Who was it who made the match? I can't remember if it was Brian or Shane McMahon. I think it was Daniel Bryan. Yeah, yeah and then uh, you actually made the point. Uh, Although uh, Bray and Luke never actually fought in the match. No, this was a very strange match because all throughout the match, Luke wouldn't fight Bray. Yeah. It's like, um, when Bray was in the ring, Luke actually dropped off the apron one time. He wouldn't tag out. Wouldn't tag in. Yeah. But when Randy was in the ring, he'd happily tag in. Yeah. Commentators made the point of, oh, Bray still has some supernatural power over Luke Harper. Mm. So, which is like, but... If he's kicked him out, how does he still have this power? It yeah. doesn't make any sense. No, no, it doesn't. But the overall gist of it was, right, if Cena manages to get out of the Elimination Chamber with the title, he's losing it at WrestleMania. Mm. And in this match, well, he lost. <laughs> yep. Sister Abigail. Into the RKO. And it was a good RKO. He actually took this one. Yeah. Makes a change because normally Cena doesn't know how to sell moves. Oh we had some women's action next. Oh boy. Introduced by James Ellsworth. Oh god. You had Carmella versus. Delilah Lawson. Oh. Now it's, it's got to be said that this match was just hilarious for JBL's commentary. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was paying attention to because he called yeah. uh, what, a skunk mixed with a smurf. Or something <laughs> like that. Yeah. He said that James Ellsworth should be going out with that thing, not Carmella. <laughs> <laughs> so, yep, yeah, in the end. James Ellsworth caused the distraction and then Carmella won it with a submission move. Can't even remember what it's called. Code of Silence, I think. Yeah, let's go with that. I don't know. So yeah. That was that. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Then, next match, which was very short, we had... Dolph Ziggler versus Callisto. Again. Yeah. Because we haven't seen that enough recently. They did it last week. Oh, jeez. And I don't know why they thought this would go any differently. No, and uh, ended rather quickly. Dolph hit a super kick on Callisto. On the match. And then uh, then he went a beat up on Callisto some more. And that brought out Apollo Crews. Yeah, and Dolph quickly ran into the crowd. And went, no, nah, no, nah, not happening like this. Ooh. So, yeah, hopefully this gives Apollo something to do. 
Yeah. And then we had some more women's action. This time it would be Naomi and Becky Lynch versus Alexa Bliss and Mickey James. And it was announced prior to this match that because of the events of the Royal Rumble, which apparently was Naomi pinning Alexa Bliss, yep. I don't know, I didn't watch it, <laughs> at the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view, Bliss will be putting her title on the line against Naomi. Yep, and this pretty much ended the same way the Rumble match ended. Naomi picking up the pinfall over Alexa Bliss. Uh, at least she didn't use the rear view. Eesh. Oh, that's a terrible move. Not a very PG move either. Who, who wants that big ass in your face? <laughs> Jay Uso, maybe. Oh, <laughs> he, he's married. He, he's got to put up with that. <laughs> Tell you what, I don't need to see some big black ass coming towards me. <laughs> But you'll quite happily put up with Biggie's big meaty third leg. Uh, <laughs> only if he does the face. How <laughs> <laughs> oh, he got away with saying that. Oh my god. Yeah. And then uh American Alpha oh, came, yeah. came out to the ring and they declared a Open challenge. Yeah, they were interviewed in the back by someone, saying like, "Oh, where have they been for the last month?" Because they haven't done anything since winning the tag titles. Hmm. One on the Royal Rumble pre-show, one on the Royal Rumble pay-per-view. Hmm. So they said, "Okay, they're going to go to the ring, issue an open challenge to anyone who wants to take it." <clears throat> of course, unfortunately, this brought out pretty much every tag team on the SmackDown. It did. You had gangster Uzos. Yep. The Ward villains. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're quite manly. <laughs> the Ascension. Yeah. They knew they were still around. <laughs> uh. no, I'm going to leave, I'm gonna leave <laughs> them lost. No, what are you going <laughs> to Beauty and the Man Beast. And then. Oh, no, God, you got to say it, man. <laughs> you know you want to. <laughs> The fashion <laughs> po po. Oh my god. <laughs> oh <dear>. Terrible. <laughs> Breeze angle. <laughs> yeah, and uh Did this match even ever start wasn't it even no, it start? wasn't even declared a match, they just all fought each other. Yeah. <laughs> it just ended in a big old brawl and I think it was American Alpha and Slater and Rhino were the last two teams in the ring. Yeah. It wasn't even announced as a match. Uh, I don't know. That's just one of those moments you just got to shrug it off and go, okay, yep, yeah, that happened. Then we move on to our main event, which was made earlier on in the night backstage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember this one. You had the Intercontinental Champion... Dean Ambrose against the former champ that runs the camp. It's okay, man. It's okay. <laughs> You'll win it back. AJ Styles. Yeah, there's, apparently they have some unfinished business, which was a bit strange to me because AJ's beaten him the last four or five times. Yeah. What, what business could they have left? No idea. Well, uh, there you go. That's the match. Yeah. And we were joined on commentary for, for this one. Really? By The Miz, unfortunately. Oh, and Baron Corbin. Oh, The Miz are all bad. And uh, got to give credit to the man. He was actually rather funny on commentary. Yeah. Simply because he kept saying he was going to punch The Miz in the face. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> this is one of the only times I'm going to cheer for Baron Corbin. Uh, and that uh, that whole confrontation would end up getting in the match. Yeah. Because the match was going on, it was pretty solid. 
Ooh, no back and forth. These two do put on a good match. Yeah. But when Miz and Baron started brawling and it got into the ring, it caused the distraction. Uh -oh. Dean Ambrose threw himself out of the ring to try taking them both out. Yeah. But he unfortunately walked into the Styles Clash. Uh oh. <clears throat> that was the end for Ambrose. So much like the last five encounters, AJ wins. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently they still got unfinished business. <laughs> what, what what more unfinished business is there to do? I mean, really. <laughs> I have no idea. I mean, I like Ambrose. He was my favourite guy in the Shield, but he's just got to give this one up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, uh, was that it? Was that the last one? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, that's a short review. Hmm. That's like... <laughs> that's really short. Oh. I could waffle for another couple of minutes, but... I can't, yeah. I can't be bothered. Yeah. Yeah. So, just a quick side note, in, in the next couple of weeks I will be doing some collaborations with one of our friends, Zandiel. The one and only Zandiel. Yeah, we're going to be playing a few games with each other. So look out for them. Yeah. On a console, not with one another, no. just to clarify. No, we're not, <laughs> we don't do that. <laughs> So yeah, I'm not sure what he's got in store for me or me for him, but looking forward to it. Yeah. So, from your hosts, the master of the brain damage, Martin, and the one and only Sam H, we will see you on the next one. Goodbye and good night. There.